is what will happen. Do not care. Fall into the Raven River. Good morning, guys. We are at Seljaland's Foss Waterfall. Seljaland's Foss. It is so pretty. We actually, it's right next to the place that we camped last night. So mm -hmm. this morning we were able to get up and just come right out and explore and walk behind it. The waterfall was in the view of our windshield. Yeah. <laughs> it was super, super fun and pretty and we got some great footage, I think. Yeah. This is the famous waterfall that you can walk behind to get a picture. But be warned, you do need to have rain gear because you will get soaked from the spray. Yeah. And preferably waterproof shoes too. Hiking shoes. Yeah. Super, super slippery and muddy. So. Yeah. But luckily, we had all that, so. But there are so many great photo opportunities yeah. here. It's you definitely, if you want something for Instagram, this is the place to come. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys, check it out. So there's a waterfall right back here. And I don't know if you can tell, but you can't really see the bottom where the falls come out. So it's just this crack, this gorge kind of in the cliff wall. That, that's a little bit of an opening. And it's just enough of an opening that there's the stream that's coming out from all the water from the waterfall it falls and then it um it comes out through that kind of that hole into a little stream and there's really no way to see the bottom of the waterfall unless you go through the stream but we got up there and we figured out there's enough stepping stones that you could actually step from stone to stone and get into this little uh section of rock where it opens up at the top and the waterfall's coming through and there's just a little bit of sky that you can see but it's insane it's like just basically a hole that this waterfall is dropping into and it makes me wonder if that hole is because the waterfall dropped there for so many thousands of years or something like that it's insane it's honestly some of the coolest one of the coolest places i've been to on this trip so far even though this waterfall itself isn't that impressive getting to go inside of it was amazing and i don't even know how to pronounce this name at all i can't even try this one so i put the name down below and um so you can see what it is but the really cool thing about this waterfall is that it's only 600 meters away from Selja Lanza Falls. So you can walk from one to the other and get to see them both in the same day, even in the same hour. So definitely if you go see Selja Lanza Falls, walk 600 meters to the left and go check out this one as well. It's amazing. And if you have waterproof shoes, you can walk through the stream and get inside there and it's epic. You will get soaked in spray though, so I recommend having good rain gear, which you should have if you come to Iceland anyway. So now guys, we're at Skogafoss Waterfall, which is the second stop of our Iceland vlog, day three. Yep. And it's huge. So, yeah. we're gonna hike it. Yeah, we'll show you what it looks like from the bottom and the top. Skogafoss waterfall. It is incredible. It's yes. one of Iceland's like most iconic waterfalls I read on the sign. Yeah. Super pretty. If you go up the stairs you can get a view from the top. And there um, are multiple other waterfalls in the same river that's flowing through. Yeah you want to walk crazy. like the trail yeah. behind so it. Definitely go to the top. Yeah. Super super beautiful and very cold 
wear your rain jacket. Yeah, wear all your rain gear. Yeah, because once you get to the waterfall, it pretty much soaks you. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> it is epic though, as you can see from all the stuff around us. So green. Look at all that. That mountain is huge. Biggest mountain I've ever seen. Look, we'll show you real quick. Well, biggest mountain like this that I've ever seen. But it's kind of hard to tell, but it keeps going up through even the fog. Yeah, it goes up through the clouds. That's where the main waterfall drops off, yeah. right there. Parking lot's way back there, and then there's stairs over here. But then, this wonderful river just continues along up there. And there's not, there's more currents and waterfalls right there, but that, that rock's blocking it. And there's hiking trails all the way up. We made it to Black Sand Beach. Yep, right near the town of Vic. Yes, it's super, super pretty. Actually, can you take this? I want to get some of the sand here. So it's like sandy. <laughs> but yet it's no black. Kidding. <laughs> but it's black. Yeah, it's pretty much like regular sand. I mean, just look at this completely black, and there's the ocean. Oh, and it's so cold. Okay, come on. Okay. I seriously just want to walk around and collect these smooth stones. They are the smoothest stones I've ever felt. And they're covering this beach, this black sand beach. This is gorgeous. If it was warm, I would be swimming. Well, that might be dangerous. <laughs> Go check out that cave back there i think there's a bunch of other tours there so we might have to deal with some crowds but it's worth it because it looks super awesome another thing about the beach here is that the waves are known to come up and get you all of a sudden so they come in all of a sudden they'll swoop in way faster than they have before and way further so there's a lot of people get swept out to sea here if they're not careful they stand too close and they aren't paying attention oh my god it's, uh, it's called a crab. Oh. <laughs> Wait, you didn't recognize it? No, it's upside down. Throwback to Giant's Causeway in Ireland. Link right here. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see why in a second. Right now we just arrived at a canyon, but it is supposedly just super, super tall. And this area surrounding it is probably the most beautiful green hills I've ever seen. The mountains here are completely green, like covered in moss. And so are the rocks. There's just like fields of complete rocks covered in moss. It looks like something off Trolls. It's so iconic and so perfect. Um, my words have been failing me on how to describe the beauty of this just great vast land <laughs> all day long so i think it's a little hike up to get to where you can look into the um canyon so we're gonna do that and hopefully fly the drone a little bit and yeah i'm super excited <laughs> you ready for this let's go
place is amazing. Yeah. There are just random little sheep all over. <laughs> and it's like a perfect canyon with a river flowing in it. Yeah. It's so pretty. Well, when she says perfect, she doesn't mean straight walls all the way through. It's like, like coming in and out like waves. Yeah, I just meant it's perfect to me. <laughs> yeah, it's an amazing canyon. Yes. So you should definitely plan to check this out. It's like right off the road. Yeah, it's like, like an hour past Vic if you're going north into the east kind path, of. Yeah, right off of Route 1, the Ring Road. It's yeah. right off it, like two kilometers off it. It's incredible. Definitely gotta come to this. So we are on the way to our campsite, but there's yep. this cute little town that you drive through. Um, like I think that's the name. No, that's not it. We'll show you the name in a minute. It's on a sign up there. Something Crazy like Crazy Iceland. Kokoba that's good. I don't know if that's right. But anyway, this town has a little waterfall that actually is pretty big. Look, look at the sign. Does it really say that? That's really, look. Show, show them, show them. Apparently they have a problem here. I don't know, but I'm just guessing. <laughs> All I'm saying is, <laughs> If there's a sign there, it's happened there before. <laughs> anyway, let's go check it out. Is it just me, or do those, that rock up there, is like rock on. Yeah! See how heavy I'm breathing? Because we just take up about a million stairs to get to the top of that waterfall where there's a lake. Yeah. I'm not convinced it was worth it yet, but let's check it out. <laughs> legend has it. No, it's not a legend, it's a fact. Oh. Fact has it. So, the nuns used to come up this mountain and bathe in the lake. I can see why. It's like hidden. Ooh. Hidden from the town. Ride it down. Yeah. And that's the waterfall, guys. There you go. started it from the lake, all the way down, under the bridge. Guys, check out this view from the top of this little hill. There's our van. Town all the way below. Right down there. Right there, yeah, in that parking lot. You can just see out over the whole landscape. Thank you so much, guys, for watching our day three Iceland vlog of our Ring Road road trip. This was honestly the best day I've ever had. Yeah. So many perfect things here. Be sure to watch next week for our next week's That's right. Iceland vlog. Check in next week for day four. Be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks, right. guys. Bye. Bye.